my cannoli crepes are going to become one of your favorites at home whether you're making these for a special occasion like Mother's Day or for your friends for a fun brunch or on a lazy Sunday morning with your kiddos helping you out they are always a special treat and I know you're gonna love them so let me show you how to make these at home Being an Italian-American mom, I love anything, of course, that has cannoli filling. And when it comes to crepes, I love the endless possibilities of things that you can fill them with. Whether you're going for sweet fillings or savory fillings, making crepes is another recipe that only needs a few ingredients. So simple to mix up. However, making them is not my favorite thing to do. It will take you a few tries to get the hang of twirling your crepe maker. But my rule is, as long as you're having fun, they don't need to be perfect. They just need to be delicious. So let me show you how. Today we'll be using the Blackstone Crepe Kit. This is perfect. It's got all the tools I need to make crepes on my griddle. You'll notice this very long spatula, which is for flipping your crepes, which is perfect to use on your traditional Blackstone griddle. You do not want to use this on your E-Series though. We'll start off with my cannoli filling into a mixing bowl. I've got 15 ounces of whole milk ricotta. You just want to make sure that you drain this off of any extra liquid. To that you'll add 8 ounces of mascarpone cheese. This is an Italian style cream cheese. We'll sweeten it up with half a cup of powdered sugar. I've got 2 teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, a teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll give that a mix to incorporate all those ingredients and then mix in half a cup of mini chocolate chips. Once that's mixed up, store it in the refrigerator. You can keep this for a few days. It's perfect for a dip, serving it alongside things like cookies or broken up ice cream cones or of course to fill your cannolis. While that gets nice and cold in the refrigerator, let's jump over to our crepe mix. Into a large mixing bowl, we'll sift one cup of all-purpose flour. I've got half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. We're adding two large eggs. You want these to be at room temperature. One cup of milk. Make sure that you warm up that milk before adding it. A quarter cup of water. Three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. And then we'll whisk all of these ingredients together until nice and smooth. You'll notice your batter is super thin compared to a pancake batter, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now into a second bowl, I had doubled this recipe and made one batch already. To this, I added two tablespoons of Hershey's cocoa powder. This way we have a mixture of our vanilla crepes and our chocolate crepes. Now years ago, some of you might remember me posting this red velvet crepe cake that I made using one of the very old Blackstone models, which has since then been discontinued. It was the Blackstone Dash. I still have mine. It was perfect for making crepes on. Today, we're gonna be doing it both on the Blackstone E-Series and the Blackstone Griddle to show you that you can do it on either model. And for making my crepes, I love using ghee or clarified butter. This will give me that butter flavor without any burning. Now again, before we get started, let me remind you, I do not enjoy making crepes. It takes me a lot of tries until I get the hang of it. Using this crepe tool, spinning it as lightly as possible to spread out your crepes crepe mixture as thin as possible can be a little bit tricky so as long as they're gonna taste good I don't mind if they are not the perfect shape or if I mess up a few times we'll start with the Blackstone e-series I've got this set to 325 but I'm bumping it up to 350 we'll spread across some of our ghee and then down goes a ladle or two of our crepe mixture we'll start with our vanilla traditional crepes and then give that crepe twirler a little try try to Spread this out into a circle using the lightest amount of pressure while holding this and twirling it is what you're looking for. Don't get frustrated. I'm sure there's some of you out there that are going to instantly be pros at this. And then some of you like me who want to just scream, but we're having fun. And the end result is worth all of it because you're learning to make a new dish and they're just so delicious. You're gonna wanna keep making these. Now I do love that the E-Series is so forgiving that I don't have to worry about these cooking too fast. I know nothing is going to stick to this. Once they're done, I'm folding these up in half and then in half again and I'm going to be placing them on a 
parchment paper lined baking sheet, covering them with a towel, keeping them nice and warm while we make all of the others. Now we're gonna jump over to our traditional blackstone and cook some of these up, both the chocolate and the vanilla, until all of our batter is gone. Doing the same, spreading down our ghee or our clarified butter across our griddle surface once it's heated. You wanna go for a medium low heat, don't rush these crepes. They only need about a minute to two on each side. It's a very quick cook. And when using your traditional blackstone for these crepes, you can just slide this long crepe spatula under those to help you flip these. Doing the same, folding them in half and then in half again until they are all done. I love the way that these cook up that nice golden brown leopard look across the surface. And now once you're done griddling up all of your crepes, and having fun doing it. It's time to serve these up with our cannoli cream. I've got two different bowls of our cannoli cream set out. One we're gonna top with extra chocolate chips. And into our second bowl, I've got one of my favorites, honey roasted pistachios. I buy these in the bag, shell free, and then just take a mallet to them and crush them up slightly. Of course, serving these alongside some fresh fruit and finishing with some powdered sugar. This makes for such a beautiful presentation, which any mom on Mother's Day would love, along with any of your friends and family, any day of the week. Serving it across the Blackstone cutting board so that everyone can fill their own crepes. So fun, and I can't wait to see you guys making these at home. Whether you're making them with the cannoli filling or you're filling them with something else that you love, whether sweet or savory, we would love to see. So be sure to post a picture and tag Blackstone Products and tag me Blackstone Betty. I hope you guys love this one just as much as we do here. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I cannot wait to see you guys for another family style favorite.